so i'm going to get this out of the way real 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 quick here uh, i apologize for not having a post game recap of the dolphins game of the week two collapse against the dolphins so what i'm gonna do in this video i'm gonna have the preview of the patriots but before that uh i'm going to make it quick here because uh I, i'm gonna talk about the dolphins game and uh yeah man so, so, so so first things first, the reason why I couldn't I couldn't upload anything in the past few days in the past week is because I got sick. My voice looked dead. I I, I couldn't really upload anything. Uh, but hopefully I'm able to get this up before the game. Uh, I think I will. I think I will. Uh, I'm recording this day b before, by the way. Uh. But yeah, man. So first things first, the Dolphins game. I'm going to talk real, 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 real quick about it, so that the video isn't isn't super, super long. So, so we're gonna talk about the offense first. Offense. Uh, you started off. Yeah, you had a good game overall. Offense had a good game overall. That's all I'm gonna say. So. You know, you had, you scored 38 points. I mean, you scored 31 on offense. You had kickoff return. Uh, Lamar had a very good day. MVP, uh, MVP Lamar's back. Uh, he had he had four touchdowns. I think he had, to, he had four total touchdowns. And he had that amazing run, including that. Uh, but again... Greg Roman's play calling was it was one it, it, it was a great game in the first in, in the first half he was calling a great game but in the second half he was horrible he was absolutely horrible and uh, we we really much stopped if the game ain't over don't stop uh, a quarter is a lot of time to come back from 21 points. So why not continue? Except they went conservative. They went with their pride of running the ball. And. It, it costed us. It costed us on offense. On defense. Again. Good in the first three quarters. Marlon Humphrey and, and Marcus Peters went out. Defensive play calling went completely soft. And with with speedsters like like Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle, it's it's hard. We had rookies on them. We had a bunch of rookies on them, and it, it it really didn't help. It really didn't help. The matchups were horrible. Uh, Mike McDonald completely. He, I mean, he. He outplayed Greg Roman in terms of being bad in this game. Okay, he had one good game, one bad game. This was a very, very bad game. Uh, you know, but yeah, this defense just returned. It just absolutely ruined a Lamar career game. Uh, but again, the lack of cornerback death has sunk the Ravens' ship. And you had both your best corners go out in the fourth quarter, and it was over. Against the two fastest wide receivers in the league. And again, you had miscommunications. You had coverage breakdowns. Not pretty. Again, it's, it's things you expect to go away a little bit, at least. Okay? Like, expect that thing to happen with rookies, but not as much. It, it, it looked like in every play, the entire fourth quarter, it was miscommunication after miscommunication. The secondary was just crumbling when Marlon Humphrey and, and Marcus Peters weren't on the field. But the best player on uh, on, on the uh, on secondary was Marcus Williams. And he he should have had a, a third interception that game, but he had two. He should have had a third that that could have sealed it. 
he again he's having a monster start as a raven but again defensively pass rush no pressure you know uh, oh, only two edge rushers uh we really thought this would do it i guess man we we thought two edge rushers would do it all right then i uh, he, here you have it in in every year we always come out with a position that lacks depth it, last year was tackle this year is is edge it's just uh, it, it, it's a good thing. It's a good thing we signed uh, JPP. But yeah, man. Uh, again, it's it, again. It, it it's again. The team's stubbornness. The entire team's philosophy, which is a very stubborn one. Because it's it, it, it's always one dimensional, it's one dimensional. It's not. It, it it's not like it's not balanced. It's one dimensional. Again, if the pass game is working, why are you not going to continue? It, the game isn't over yet. Continue running. Uh, continue passing the ball. We were cooking. The run game is not working at all. It, it, it's not. Um, Mike Davis. Mike Davis, Kenyon Drake, and oh, Justice Hill. Especially this dude. They're not getting it done. They're, they're absolutely horrible. They combined for, for 28 total rushing yards. All three of them. And then, and then you, you, you would look at the stat sheet and think we had a good game on the ground. But no. Lamar only had his one 119 yards, his fair share of yards, which, no, we're not going to count because it, it, it's on him. So, again, Greg Roman, you will get a slight pass for this game because Mike McDonald was, was considerate. He was worse. He proceeded to be worse. So... You, you you can't put this game on, on, on Roman despite being horrible in the second half. Because Mike McDonald said, Oh, hold my beer. I'm gonna be even worse than you. You know? And again, you're spending all that draft capital on defense for guys who are going to do this, proceed to do this BS. And again, one thing. If, if you're going to spend draft capital and money, sp spend it on the offense. It, it, it's really not... It, it, it's really not a defense... Defense doesn't win championships anymore. Okay? Defense doesn't win championships. It does not. It does not matter. The league does not want you, does not favor the defense. They do not want defense. A, a lot of rules favor the offense. Why are you going to, why is this philosophy still on, uh, uh, in place? It is not the year 2000. Stop living in the early 2000s. It's not. It, it, it's not the 2000 team. You won't be able to replicate that. It's a one-time thing. It was an amazing defense. That happened in an era where defense actually could win championships. Not anymore. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now. We should not be okay with it. Running the ball uh, again. Dude, if Greg Roman can't get this run game going, he's, he's pretty useless. Okay? He's useless. He sucks at play calling a lot of the time. And he sucks at the pass game a lot of the time. But then you have elite players at their positions who can actually hide these mistakes. Having good players hides weaknesses. 
but then it, but they don't hide it for long. In the playoffs, it's going to show. So that's all. It, 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 the Ravens need to change in their philosophy and play ball, pass the ball. It, it, the run game's not going to work. And on top of that, there's no JK, there's, n there's no Gus, there's no Ronnie Stanley, there's no Nick Boyle. Why do you have the same game plan every time? As if they are on the field. Doesn't work. Offense, Greg, you're, you're going to need to work on your consistent, consistently in in the play column because it is it is not consistent you had a good first half but you couldn't really finish you couldn't finish the job you sucked in the second half in the entire second half you started trying to run the ball trying to force the run in holes that weren't open when the past games when the past game you had lanes lamar could literally do whatever he wanted in the past game he, he could do whatever he wanted. Bateman could do whatever he wanted. Andrews could do whatever he wanted. All the weapons could do whatever they wanted against that Dolphins defense. Yet, what do you do? You, you go to Mike Davis, Justice Hill, Kenyon Drake, who have probably combined for like what? Who have combined for maybe 40 yards in two games? Uh, that's maybe. I mean, Justice Hill had that had a run where he had that open lane, where I I really do I can't think of a running back who wouldn't who wouldn't house this. I I can't. He has to be the worst running back I have ever seen in my life. That is negative vision. But again, bro. Defensively, again. You, you're seeing the same issues from this team year in and year out again but then fans we're all being okay with it we're just oh yeah oh yeah you didn't have to, to explain it oh yeah we're doing this because this it's not it's it's not it's not good it's questionable it's questionable why do you carry only two pass rushers this is questionable even when you have a million in other injuries at that position, you have to be, you have to, it's the, it's the most important position on defense. Now I'm starting to wonder, do the Ravens even value important positions? Because again, Because they, they have to get that Lamar contract uh, done anyways, which I think they will because I trust in their front office to do so and not be stupid and lowball him. But what, what, why are we being cheap at edge? Nowadays, you, you, you need to get to the quarterback. My bad. Nowadays, you need to get to the quarterback because it's a pass-heavy league. It, it, it is so, bro. Odafe Owe has not been, he he hasn't been much of an impact so far, and yeah, Justin Houston outplayed him. He's been our best edge rusher so far. He's been our best pass rusher by far. I I need to see more from Odafe. Uh, maybe JPP is gonna help, but yeah, man. No Humphrey or Peters in the fourth quarter really, really made a blow. Big blow on that secondary, but no excuses. Adjust. Adjust, McDonald. Adjust. Again, it, it, it's one of these playoff games where you just get outcoached. Outcoached heavily. Outcoached. Again. And you're questioning how EDC built that team. Again, it, it, I mean, he's not cheap. He's cheap in some positions. 
that's the that's the thing. He's not a cheap GM. The Ravens were were never a cheap team, but they're cheap at some positions. But again, having pass rush should not it should not be cheap. It should not be a cheap position. Again, but yeah, man, you you, uh, you pay for what you get. That's it. Uh, on to the Patriots game. Uh, both teams are one and one, and uh, pretty much done with this stupid rant. St st stupid again. Stubbornness is just. It, it's it's hurting this team. It's hurting this team. So what I'm gonna say about the Patriots game, you know, the most important matchup, most important matchup is gonna be the Ravens' offense against uh, against pass defense. Because again, this Pats offense is extremely dysfunctional. It is extremely dysfunctional. So again, our defense should be able to lock down. Uh, lock down. They don't have a Jalen Waddle. They don't have a a, a a Tyreek Hill. They don't have any of that. So they should be able to lock Mac Jones up really easily. So that shouldn't be an issue here. But yeah, man. But what we should do on defense, though, what I expect us to be doing, it, it, uh, I really think they're going to try and use the, the short passing game a lot with Mac Jones uh, and, and, and also that run game. So we're going to need Travis Jones is going to be playing that game. He's going to be coming back, making his his, his uh, NFL debut. So he's going to be a, an X factor in this game because he, he's been showing out. He's been showing out in preseason. He showed some pass rush uh, uh, upside as well. So our D-line should be able to lock down Damon, uh, Damon Harris and, uh, and Ramondre Stevenson, a.k.a. Chief Keefe. 2.0. Uh, but yeah, man. On defense, you, you try and limit that short passing game. Mac Jones, once in a while, tries to take these deep shots. You capitalize on those. And and and, and that should be it on, on defense. On offense, on offense, if the Pats defense is able to hold down if the pass defense is able to hold down the Ravens offense, then it's going to be a closer game than expected. But if if the Ravens offense plays the way it did the first two weeks, then it's going to be a blowout. It's going to be a blowout. So, we should be able to... On defense, they've been pretty good. Uh, they've... Pretty much, uh, I mean, in terms of points, in terms of points, they've allowed 17 points per game so far. Uh, they've allowed 20 against the Dolphins and only 14 against the Steelers. Uh, but, yeah, man. Uh, we're top 10 in passing. In offense as well. Uh, I, I, honestly, we're pretty much top five offense so far. Uh, and, you know, uh, this team is going to have to, again, uh, the, the Pats really aren't really bad at anything on, on defense so far. So, we're going to need... I mean, if if we're able to continue, if we're able to continue, uh, we're going to be able to blow them out. Especially if the defense uh, does their job. So, yeah, boys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm, I'm sorry for this video coming late. I'm feeling, a, a, I'm still feeling a bit, a bit weird here, a bit sick. But, yeah, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Clear that in. Comment down below your thoughts your expectations for this game and yeah guys see you guys in in the post game recap